Hello and welcome to Chateau Dreams. This is our family story of moving to the beautiful south of France to a partially renovated chateau during COVID lockdown with all of our animals. Now we're here, we will continue the restoration, we will go and interview people, we will see the sights, have a little bit of French culture and hopefully have some fun with some volunteers. Thanks very much for watching and if you enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Chateau Dreams. I hope you're having fun wherever you are. Here in France, we've had soaring temperatures, so we're all rather hot, but at least we are not suffering the fires here at the moment that our friends further in the north are. Um, thousands of people have been evacuated this week and an area the size of Paris has been burnt down um, in terms of the forest here. So very, very sad. However, we have some new volunteers who've come from Denmark and we have two volunteers from the UK as well. So we're having a look at the projects that they're working on at the moment. We have an exciting new arrival as of yesterday morning that I'll show you. And aside from that, we're going to go back in time to the dark days of two years ago when we were getting everything sorted and we were trying to renovate the chicken house here. Hope all is well with you guys and thanks so much for watching. I have to admit, we've been on a bit of a buying spree this week. Or as Ross would say, Ems, you've been on a bit of a buying spree. This particular item I could fit in the back of the car. Hooray! I really like it because it's a lady there with her dogs and we love our dogs. And also, in addition to that, she's got lots of roses around her. I think it's some chickens. What do you think? Uh, and also there's a lovely lion on the top right hand corner. The colours are phenomenal. So this, I think, is going to go up in the winter salon here. I think she'll look good with the red silk on the walls and the gold. So once she's up, which won't be in this episode, but once she's up, you can take a look and see what you think. I really couldn't resist her. I probably should have done, but I didn't. Ha! I've just noticed this little sheep here in the corner. Is that a lamb down in the bottom? The work is really lovely. Look, she's got a dove. I'm so short-sighted. This is literally the first time I've seen that as I've zoomed in. There we are. And some baby doves or chicks at the bottom. I think it's really fun. gets back you're going to go into a lovely stable with your mummy. He's so cute. Yeah. She's such a good mum. It's what, five, five hours later both of you, you saw a snake? S snake. Jumped at me. <laughs> saw a snake, had a big viper encounter. Big viper encounter. Saw it out though. Um, this is Sam. Hi guys. You saw you him earlier the other day, and Sam is working on the wall garden and doing tiles at the moment. So I will get him to. I'll ask him to explain what he's doing. So, so what I'm, are you doing? <laughs> I'm currently tiling around the planted beds, so we can basically have um, a neat square around it, so all the grass and. <laughs> so we're trying to prevent all the weeds that we have to inevitably pick up again um, and we're trying to make all the flower beds nice so we can plant some good vegetables yeah it's looking really really good yeah it's something to do currently i'm moving around this flat bit so it all lines up um and basically having to remove all the tiles <laughs> um which is a yeah funny chess game basically um, yeah, that's what we've been doing. We've been working on the walled garden for the last week or so. Me and Adam, my other workaway buddy. Um, yeah, it's going good. Smoulderingly hot. 
30, well, it's actually okay right now, but it gets up to 38. But yeah, it's uh, good work. Ooh. And you also had to hoik these tiles over, didn't you, from over yeah. the other side of the castle? So we use this metal barrow to um, fill it up it, with tiles. See how it settles, because the herb garden, ones around the outside of the herb garden have completely settled flat, so if we need to do any um leveling we can do that later but the most important thing is just to stop any weeds coming through at the moment because as sam said it grows incredibly incredibly quickly so we need to come up with a, a long-term solution rather than a quick one so yeah it's awesome that he is giving us a hand and uh, yeah we've got cucumbers growing we've got stuff going on another hundred tiles my god that's amazing Probably. my goodness sorry just i'm imagining because when i moved all the tiles we initially had on here probably about half what we needed and uh, moved some of the other tiles from over there to fill it up again mm. but yeah just because we're gonna have to do the front lines of the three vegetable patches you just pointed out to and then the raspberries yeah and we would have <laughs> to do all the raspberries yeah exactly which is at the back because otherwise it just gets completely overgrown doesn't it and it's a total nightmare yeah and the really good news is that Sam is a mathematician, so he is the best person to do this in terms of lining up <laughs> geometry. Sure, you know, the mathematician translates to uh, <laughs> laying down tiles, but yeah, it's probably part of the problem sets I'm solving. Angles. Maybe it gets. He's the one that's the better person at um, billiards at the moment. Adam is absolutely smoking me at billiards, but oh, well, not for long. Well, uh, maybe we should force him to do some of this then. No, uh, yeah, not for long though. He's going down. He's going down. <laughs> Majorly losing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Take care. Adam, who has been working incredibly hard with Sam on everything, and they are doing different things at the moment. Do you know what? I've just heard from Sam about the billiards and the fact that you keep on beating him. Oh, yeah. What is it now? 15-5 or something? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, need to, I need to go against Ross soon, I think. <laughs> In the harder challenge. Um, <laughs> he tells me, he informs me that you're going to be, he's going to be beating you very soon. Oh, well, I'll have a game tonight then, maybe. Yeah, see how you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I said, um, Sam is in the middle of doing the Bagsters project. Um, so, do you, would you mind just telling us what you're up to and how's yes, it going? I'm just renovating this room here, cleaning up all the rubble, uh, jet washing everywhere, cleaning all the panels down here. These are all being cleaned, this room in here. So, I'm just tidying everything, really, painting the walls. And after I've cleared all the rubble with this, with this, I'm going to jet wash the windows and get rid of all the uh, remaining brambles. And then probably move on and help Sam when I've finished here. Yeah, it looks, it, it looks amazing. Yeah, thank you. Um, did you find anything interesting in the muck that came out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both found it. That many bones in there. Bones. So many bones, yones. yeah. We, we think they're old. I don't know what bones they would be, but they've got to be so old, haven't they? Yeah, they're really, really old. They would, Where were they? Just down here. Um, I think they... Do they come out from the back corner? From the back corner, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we, they got there. But. We think that we... Luckily, we think they are animal bones. They're old chicken bones or something yeah, like that. There's nothing <laughs> exciting. Um, although, obviously, as I said earlier, you can see some of the remnants of battle scarring in, the, in this room. So, there we are. Thank you, Hello, everybody. Um, Thank our you. lovely new volunteers. Lovely to see you. Um, I thought what I'd do is get you guys to introduce yourselves because everybody's going to be seeing you, aren't they, over the next few weeks? So I thought it would be a good idea to, to get a chance to do that. So first off, we have Sarah. Hey, guys. My name is Sarah. I'm 21 and I'm from Denmark. And I'm almost a nurse in one year. And I just love spending time with my friends and my family and just enjoying life. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Anne. Yeah, and I am Agnes. I also come from Denmark and I'm 21. I studied political science in Denmark and I love to knit in my spare time. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's, I didn't know that. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Ida. Um, I'm twin sisters with Sarah actually and Agnes is my good friend from back home in Denmark and right now I'm just on a gap year but I'm hoping to be a dentist next year to get in in the summer in the university. Wow, well, yeah. welcome everybody to the Chateau thank and thank you That's so much. Yeah. Okay, so me and Emma, we've been thinking about a project, project here about flowers on the walls. You can see it here, I don't know if you can see it. But I'm going to paint some flowers, hand painted on the walls to make it more like cozy and more warm. So you get in a good mood when you go into the staircase. So right now we put up some papers and some pencils right here. Emma has some pencils here and I'm just going to create some work here and we will find out what 
matches right here. Let's have a look. So it's Polish flowers and we made like it's traditional Polish wall paint. We tried to make the flowers here. It's like a tall flower and a circle flower and like a little flower here over the door. I tried to uh, draw the staircase here so you get like a 3D effect. So you get a picture of how it's going to look. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. You. I'm so excited to seeing the next step. Me too. <laughs> We're now going back in time to September 2020 when we'd only been here for two months in France. Some of the footage is portrait, so I do apologise, but I thought you'd like to see it. As you can see, we started putting up some photos and also some wonderful paintings that we had and some that we bought, including this tapestry here that the Dutch boys helped us pop up. Scarlet with a chance to go right. <laughs> is this your first French ride? Yeah. Yeah. And Ross got a chance to get into the paddocks with the tractor to give him a good bashing. We got to take a convertible for a whiz in the sunshine and soon enough Emily, our new au pair from the UK, arrived which was great for three months. The first time she was here, within a few weeks, we had a massive leak. Joseph and Susanna also arrived to give us a hand with renovating the pigeon air. We already had a few chickens so it was about time. They'd been living in the peacock house. We had no peacocks so it was alright. We quickly got to work with pressure washers and spades. Everybody took a turn, including Arthur and Emily. Susanna's seen here giving it a good set too. We even dealt with the stairs to get up into the pigeon air. Right, your part and Arthur. So Mummy and Arthur and Susanna and Emily. Hello. All got this clean, ready for the chickens. Before too long, it was all ready and sorted and bedded down, ready for the chickens, who seemed to really love it, thank goodness. Although they did enjoy flying out into their designated chicken area, which is now the rose garden, as you remember. Some of them needed a little bit of a hand to find their way to start off with. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>